Oi, look, I'm gonna set alarms on all of these iPhones. They're all gonna go off at once. It'll be so funny. Have I ever told you you're a genius? I'm gonna do it to the laptops. Oh yeah. Hiya, did you need any help? Uh, no, we're just looking. No worries, that's fine. Were you interested in the iPhones? Do you need some help with it? Oh no, I don't need help. <laughs> all done, and now we wait. Three, two, one. <laughs> Huh? What's going on? Uh, I think someone set all the alarms on the iPhones and laptops. Oh my gosh, I need to turn all of these off. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is so funny. Right, excuse me. I need to go and have a look at the CCTV to see who did that. Wait, really? Yes, whoever did that is going to be banned from the store. He did it. Hey! Hey love, I just bought these at another till, but I want you and your co-workers to have them for doing such a good job this Christmas. Oh, thank you so much, but unfortunately I can't take them from you. Why not? For some reason it's just the policy, it's like you can't tip us and we can't take items from you. Oh, come on, just put them in the staff room. I really wish I could, because it's really nice of you and everyone would love them, but I really can't. Look, I've already paid for them, love, so you might as well take them. Okay, well, thank you. Oh, Holly, did you buy these for all of us? Oh, no, a nice customer bought them for us. You know you're not allowed to take things from customers. I know, but she literally would not leave me alone until I took them, so... Wow, I've got to throw all of these away now, what a waste. I just finished recording this video and my heart literally skipped a beat when I was editing it and I saw this lady at the bottom under the table. I've used this background a few times and I've never noticed her there. My heart literally skipped a beat. Right, there's no queue. I'm just gonna go toilet. Uh, Holly, where are you going? Oh, I'm just popping to the toilet while there's no queue. But I need you on tills. There will probably be another queue in a minute. Uh, yeah, I know, but I won't be long. I just can't let you leave the tills right now. I don't know how long you're gonna be. I'll literally be like a minute. Well, how do I know you're not gonna go on your phone in the toilet? Ella always goes on her phone in the toilet and she takes like half an hour. Right, but I'm not Ella. I'm not gonna do that. Speaking of Ella, where is she? Maybe Ella could cover me on tills while I go to the toilet. Toilet. I'll have to go and find her. There's still no queue, you know. Uh, this time that we've taken to talk, I could have been to the toilet. This is a staff announcement. Ella to Tills, please. Mm. Okay, fine. Go to the toilet, but be quick. Oh, thank you. Much better. Oh, is there someone in here? Oh, hi, Holly. Ella, what are you doing out here? We needed you on the shop floor. Oh, you know, phone break. <laughs> of course. Oh, great, stupid, stupid thing. Uh, excuse me, is everything okay? No, the machine didn't give me a receipt. Oh, don't worry, that's okay. What's your order number? Well, I don't know, because I don't have a receipt, do I? Oh, well, I would have told you on the screen. Well, I wasn't looking at the screen because I was waiting for the receipt to come out. Okay, uh, well, what did you order? I can just let you know when it's ready. Well, I can't remember now. I've had all this hassle with the machine. I've forgotten. Okay, well, I can just have a look in the kitchen and see what they're making. Well, how do you know that's mine? That could be someone else's order. Okay. Okay, well maybe just wait for someone to read out a number and if no one goes to pick it up, then it's yours. Well, I don't want to accidentally take someone else's food. Order 62. 62? Uh, that might be yours. Well, what is it? A uh, Big Mac and a chicken nugget meal? Oh, huh, yeah, that's mine. You should have just said that in the first place. Yeah, welcome to Lush. Oh, hello. Um, I'm looking for a Christmas present for my niece. Oh, well, you came to the right place. We've got so many Christmas things. Right, okay. Um, I'm just not sure what she likes. Okay, well, I would recommend Snow Fairy. It's everyone's favourite. Oh, no, I've smelt that one before. It's disgusting. Right, okay. Uh, do you want to just smell some things and see what you like? <laughs> Oh no, she wouldn't like that. Do you know if she likes bath bombs or would she prefer like a body wash? Well, I don't know what she does in her free time, do I? She's my niece. Right, okay, uh, but everyone likes bath bombs, so why don't you get her one of them? Oh, I don't know, she might be allergic to them. Right, okay, well, all the ingredients are on the back if you wanna have a look. Well, I don't know what she's allergic to, so that's not gonna help. Okay, um, I don't really know how to help then, I'm afraid. Oh, so much for good customer service. I thought you guys were meant to be helpful. There's only so much I can do to help. Right, can you just test a bath bomb out so I can see what it's like? Yep, yeah, I'll just put this one in the water. Is that it? Well, what else do you expect a bath bomb to do? <sighs> Welcome to Subway. Afternoon, how are you? What do you want? Oh, uh, I'll get a six inch hearty Italian. <sighs> okay, and what meat? Oh, I always find it so hard to choose what meat to have. Uh, chicken, please. 
Do you want it cheese and toasted? Uh, don't suppose there's someone else that could serve me? No, it's just me. Oh, uh, that's fine then. Um, cheese and toasted, yeah. What salad? Uh, random question, but, uh, is your manager around? Yeah, why? No reason, uh, just wanted to have a little chat. Okay. Hi, I'm the manager. Can I help? You're the manager? Yes, can I help you? Uh, never mind, don't worry. Um, I'll get lettuce. No, go on, you clearly want to complain about something. No, uh, no complaints here. Uh, lettuce, please. Okay. It must be great being a manager at a job that you clearly love. I hate this job. Really? I couldn't tell. Uh, excuse me, is that water? Yes. The bottle's see-through. I can clearly see that's apple juice. Okay, but I'm thirsty. I have a right to drink. Yes, but you're only allowed to drink water in class. Put that away, please. That's not fair. I can't focus if I'm dehydrated. Right, I'll let you go and buy some water from the canteen, but be quick. <sighs> right, as I was saying... Uh, why is Holly allowed to drink juice and I'm not? Oh, yeah, Holly, you're only allowed to drink water. We've just been over this. But this is just water. You've clearly got juice in there. You're not fooling anyone. You also told me you don't like boring, plain water, so it's obviously flavoured. No, it's actually scented. I beg your pardon. Don't get smart with me. No, seriously, that's what air appears. It's literally just water. Oh, well, carry on then. Anyway, class, I want one of them. Oh, this must be the house. Uh, hello? Hi, here's your pizza. Pizza? I haven't ordered any pizza. Oh, really? Um, sorry. Yeah, it's not for me. Uh, it's just because, uh, it says it's this house. Well, I just said I haven't ordered any pizza. Okay, that's okay. Um, I'll just have to check the address and go to the right place. Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, sorry, again. Oh, wait, is that my pizza? Oh, sorry? Oh, I ordered a pizza, I just didn't tell my husband. <laughs> did you say my wife's the one that ordered this pizza? She did, yeah. Okay, we'll just take it back because she's not meant to be having pizza. Um, but she's ordered it and already paid for it. Oh, we'll just tell the people at Domino's that you couldn't find the house or something. But I'm already here now and I have spoken to your wife, so I can't just not give her the pizza. Well, great. You're really going to cause us some arguments tonight then. Okay. Yeah, see, my wife's on a diet. She's not meant to be having pizza. Um, should I just leave this here with you? Oh, I guess if you have to, I'll dispose of it myself then. Psst. Holly. Yes? You know how we're doing Secret Santa this year? Yeah. I was just wondering, I don't suppose you know, silly question, but who's got me for Secret Santa? Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, come on, you can tell me. I won't tell anyone. Well, why would you want to know? I just want to know who I have to be extra nice to so they get me a good present. Or maybe just be nice to everyone? Oh, but that's so much effort. I genuinely don't know who's got you anyway. You will tell me. So is it Amy? What? Is Amy the one that's got me for Secret Santa. What? No. Okay, that narrows it down. I've got it. It's Sally, isn't it? What are you doing in here? You're not even on break. Sally was asking me what my favourite chocolate is. She's obviously got me for Secret Santa. No, you're wrong again. Oh, I will get to the bottom of this. Right, it's got to be Ben. Oh, yeah, it is. Wait, really? You're just going to tell me like that? And I think he said he's got you some lush bath bombs. Oh, uh, why would you tell me? Well, you've been asking all day. Yeah, but I didn't actually want to know. Oh. Oh, Secret Santa's quite boring now. Has your shopping all scanned for you? Oh yeah, just pass me the bag, love, thanks. And that's £126 today. Oh, I think I've left my card in the car. Can I just pop out and get it? Oh yeah, that's fine. Do you want to just leave your shopping with me? Oh, it's no problem. I can just take it with me now. Oh, uh, sorry, you haven't paid for it yet, though. Yeah, it'll be quicker. I'll just put it in my car now. I'll come back and literally tap my card and I'll be on my way. Uh, I just can't let you leave the store with it without paying for it. Do you not trust me? My car's right outside. I'll literally be like five seconds. Uh, no, sorry. Can you just leave it with me, please? No need to worry. I'll be right back. Oh. oh. She's not coming back, is she? Silly girl. <laughs> this is literally my bag of rubbish. <laughs> Look at this iPhone, mummy. Hmm. <gasps> Whoa, did you just drop that? Yeah, um, I'm sorry. Oh, I bet it's broken. Is it okay? No, it's completely smashed. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Yeah, well, you are gonna have to pay for this. Huh? Me? I'm only a kid. Well, then your mum's gonna have to pay for it. But I don't know where she's gone. Well, we'll just have to wait here for her to come back then. Right, okay. 
Are you going to call the police? The police? What? No, you just need to pay for the damages. But what if I can't pay for it? Then will you call the police? Oh, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Come on, let's go. Oh, wait, mummy. No, I need to... Uh, don't answer back. Come on. But we need to pay for this phone. Uh, no, we're not buying anything. Come on. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. <sighs> You're lucky. Uh, the manager told Benny it's non-uniform day today. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Oh, hi Benny. Why are you not wearing uniform? It's non-uniform day? Is it? Yeah, our manager told me it was. Right, well, he didn't tell us that. <laughs> well, great, I've been pranked. Benny, get back to work. Help that customer. You want me to help customers when you told me not to wear uniform today? Yes, no one cares what you're wearing. Just help customers. Right. Fine. Excuse me. Can I help? What? Uh, I mean, did you find everything you're looking for today? Mind your own business. Well, you're quite rude. God, you don't wear a uniform and everyone speaks to you like you're nothing. Oh, hi. Let me scan that for you. Uh, and that's 50p, please. Why would I give you 50p? Well, this is usually how buying an item works. But you're just a customer like me. Oh, I do work here. I was just told it's non-uniform day today. Uh, where's your manager? Oh, he's just over there. Benny, come here, please. What? I have a moustache stuck to me. <laughs> Wanted to see me? Benny, why are you not wearing uniform? It's very unprofessional. You know you told me it was non-uniform day. Okay, but why are you serving customers without uniform on? You told me to serve customers. Benny, it's not good enough. You're fired. You're firing me over a uniform? We've just had too many complaints about you not wearing uniform. You set me up. You told me not to wear my uniform today. You knew I would serve customers just so you could fire me. Maybe I set you up. Maybe I didn't, but a complaint is a complaint. Well, I'll tell you right now, you're making a big mistake because I'm your best employee. See you guys, I got fired, I'm never coming here again. Oh, excuse me, dear. Oh, hi, you love, what do you need? I just need some help, please. The manager was helping me, but he's not very nice. Is that right? Oh, you're definitely the nicest person in here, dear. Thank you, that means so much. Oh, Benny? Yes? You can have your job back. I don't want it. I mean, I want a proper advent calendar this year. No, darling, you know how I feel about chocolate advent calendars. You're fine with the one you've got. It's got little pictures behind the doors. But everyone at my school has a chocolate advent calendar. It's not fair. See, look, you don't want to be the same as everyone else, do you? Well, yeah, it would be nice to have some chocolate in the morning. No, that's not breakfast, is it, darling? Wait, can I get this one? Is it a chocolate one? No, it's sweets, actually. Uh, I'm not sure about that, darling. You said you didn't want me to be like everyone else. Everyone's got a boring chocolate one. I'll have this one. Put it back, darling. I'm not sure. Just wait, mummy. Let's see what's in number one. Okay, just open one door so we can see. Oh, look, they look so nice. What's in number two? Now, don't open them all, darling. Oh my gosh, my favorite. Okay, I think you should wait to open the rest of them. So can I have it? Yes, fine. Anything to make you stop opening the doors in the shop. People are looking. I can't believe I wanted a chocolate one before. the iPhone 15 for Christmas. Oh no, don't be silly darling, we're only in here to look. Well what's the point in that? I need a new iPhone. You don't need a new one, your iPhone 14 Pro Max works perfectly fine. Yeah I know, but it's not the latest iPhone, I want the latest iPhone. Hi guys, can I help? Are you interested in any of the iPhones today? Yes. Uh no, sorry, we're just looking. Okay that's fine, I'll just be over there if you need anything. Look, now you've made her leave, she's not gonna help us anymore. It doesn't matter, we're not buying one anyway. Well, I'll just take this one off display then. I'll have that. Stop it. Put it back. We're leaving. Come on. That's not fair. <gasps> Did you just throw an iPhone 15? Oh my. Well, you better be interested in buying one now because you're going to have to pay for that. <laughs> Let's try these. Oh, no. Uh, excuse me. You're all right. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, did I just see you eat some of them and then put it back on the shelf? Uh, no. Okay, um, then why is the packet open and on the shelf? Oh, um, I don't really know. Uh, you will have to pay for those now. But I didn't like them, so why would I want to buy them? Okay, but we can't sell them to anyone else now, so you will have to buy them. But I had to try them before I bought them, you know, try before you buy. Try before you buy? They're not a tester packet, they're on the shelf for people to buy. Well, I'm not paying a pound for something I don't even want to eat. I understand you don't like them, but we can't sell them now, so... 
I'm just gonna get my manager. Here you go, Jackson. What's this for? It's money for the book fair. Emma was telling me it was this week. Oh, so you're giving us more money? What do you mean more money? Mom gave us both money for the book fair yesterday. She did? You want to use your PT? Of course you do. Okay. Just leave us hanging. For what? Uh, geez, for he says that are none of your business. Well, it's a shame those days are actually blocked off. Can't approve it. It's fine. I call out that day. Yeah, sure. If you want to be dismissed for insubordination, go right ahead. CJ, let me tell you something. Oh, God. I was not asking, okay? I was simply telling you that I will not be here those days. Okay, that's, that's, I am not done. So that you, the manager, can, como se dice, do your job and figure it out. Okay, bottom line, I need you here. Oh, well, I'm going to eat with my family, not here. Good luck trying to find somebody to replace me. Vanessa. Morning. Okay, hold on. Did you say you got 67 of the same order or 667? Well, it's 6,000. Okay. Hey, Belle, how are the kids? Okay, did you see Taylor Swift and Travis? I can't stop looking. Clock out. All right. We're going to have to do this again tomorrow, everyone. Okay. Okay, bye. Good morning. Deborah, I think I've been here long enough. It's been six minutes. Deborah, are you Black Friday shopping? Um, yeah. Two more days. So then she was telling- Oh wait, Karen's coming, let's go. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can tell me your life story, I have time. <gasps> he did what? No, girl, you deserve better. I have to go to the bathroom. Again. I wonder how long I can be in here without anyone noticing. Oh, it's four o'clock. I'm packing up. 4.45. Close enough. I won't be here tomorrow, Karen. Okay. Okay, bye. Well, uh, first job, huh? Um, yeah. Yikes. Uh, behold, the cringiest training video of all time. Um, sadly, it's mandatory and it's terrible. <laughs> so have fun. All right, so first and foremost, this is just a job, right? We're just trying to pay our bills. Yeah. Two, uh, we just make coffee, <laughs> right? We are not here to save lives. So nothing is ever that serious. Veronica, give her the talk. Welcome, Hannah. Hi. This company doesn't care about you and will try to take advantage, okay? So one, act your wage. Two, prioritize work-life balance, okay? Three, leave on time. Thank you, Veronica. Uh, perfect. So now it is time to sample every single drink on the menu. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Hey, how's training going? What did we learn? <clears throat> yeah. So much. Um, one, act your weight. Two, prioritize work life balance. Oh no. Three, leave on time. Kids! What's up? Yes, Dad? You guys really like these vitamin gummies now, don't you? Yeah, I do. They're yummy. Which one of you switched them? It wasn't me. I don't know. I guess I'll just have to check the camera. What would you like to eat, chicken or beef? Alrighty then, I will be right back. Hey, you're the one fluent in Korean, right? Yeah. Oh, great. We have a Korean passenger and 28C doesn't speak a word of English, okay? Can you please go there and ask her what she wants to eat? Okay. Uh, hello. Oh, 한국 분이세요. Oh, 진짜 다행이에요. 제가 영어를 잘 못하니까. Oh, 진짜 배고픈데. 뭘 시키지? 알아야지. Oh, 진짜 다행이에요. Would you like to eat chicken or beef? Chicken, please. Ooh. Hello, ma'am. Would you like chicken or beef? I'll have the chicken, please. Certainly. Oh my God. So on my last flight, some of the passengers suddenly just got like really sick. They vomited everywhere and I'm pretty Pretty sure it was the chicken. Oh, 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 I'm 
98% sure that this chicken is fine. I'll take the beef. Excellent choice. Can you ask someone to recommend you a good vitamin D brand? Uh, hello, uh, I'm uh, looking for good D. We're all in search of that, ma'am. Oh my god. Oh ma! You have to say the word vitamin! Vitamin D! 내가 그렇게 물어보면 몰라서 그래! D가 쉽잖아, D! Oh my, just trust me, you don't want to ask it like that, okay? Just say vitamin D and they're going to understand. I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking for good uh, vitamin D. I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah, How can they not know? It pretty much sounds the same. Maybe you can try to explain what you need. Okay, go ahead. I want to a uh, good D. Uh, good D make me happy. Ha, happy. And uh, no more stress problem. Amen, sister. And uh, I want to no chewy soap to D. No, no. I want to hard D. Okay? Hmm? Yeah, wait, 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 Happy Chinese New Year. I have a red envelope for each one of you. Well, why are you being so nice and generous all of a sudden? Well, giving you guys red envelopes actually brings me good fortune as well, so I'm actually just doing this for me. Only you can turn generosity into selfishness, but whatever. Yoink! Aw, thanks, Lindsay. A penny. The amount of money in there reflects how important you are in my life, so... <laughs> But it's an old bill, not a crisp new one, so it's only gonna bring you old luck. <laughs> Fine by me. Four hundred forty-four dollars, which in Chinese means ultimate death. <laughs> Who cares what it means? I'll take the cash. Thank you so much. Watch out for that suitcase. Genie. <laughs>